Okay, I said I wasn't going to dip in a bucket of water. Uh, kind of need to. That's why we uh, like to test and learn. So I pulled one out, let it sit out for a couple, three or four minutes. I just figured it'd just be warm, but it's still, as soon as I put it, the, the oxalic acid on there, it vaporized immediately. So uh, just stick it in a bucket of water. I've got this one loaded for two grams. That was uh, two, one quarter teaspoon or half a teaspoon. And uh, we'll stick it in that one while we're waiting on these. We'll leave these sealed up so we'll just cover towels like that for 10 minutes. And we'll go from there. All I'm doing with the smokes is trying to see if I can, I just don't want to burn them up. See if we kind of run them away from that center right there. Be red to positive, black to negative. Be bad, it don't matter. Uh, but uh, now we're treating that one. Let me plug it up. So I just started that one for its four minute timer. And we saw some vapors oozing out of the corners here on the other ones, and this right at the end. Uh, so I got my timer there watching, leaving these sealed up. You see the field bees collecting back on the hives. I'll go from there. If you wanted to do I'll show you this because I've done a lot of research to figure this out just to make sure, but knowing how electricity works, especially direct current. If you want to do multiple, just do an opposite. Black to white, black to white. Like I said, it really don't matter on that. Um, so you can, you can just daisy chain them like that all the way down and then connect these two to your positive and negative post on your battery. You just gotta do a test on it to see how how long it takes to do two, three, four, five, whatever, how many you gonna put on it. I put three on that rhino battery and it wasn't good enough. I just haven't tested this uh, marine battery yet. It's probably fine for two. But that's how you would do it. Just connect it like that and that goes straight to the battery post. And it just makes I just make a loop. Just think about it making a big loop all the way around. So that's how that works. Uh, if you're gonna build multiples definitely build them yourself. And I didn't, I don't have a metal mill, I just used a drill press. Kept punching holes in the aluminum until it, uh, until I got the, the size that I needed. On B-Source, there's a guy that, he's actually here in Villa Rica. He, uh, I don't know him, but he put, he's got a little, uh, schematic on B-Source, tells you how thick and wide and deep and everything he needs to do. As far as the aluminum block for the vaporizer. There's several different designs. I like the smaller one, it just holds what I need and, and so we're going to leave them sealed up for 10 minutes. This one's going to be done in just uh, another two minutes. And then we'll um, undo it and, just, and we'll go to the next block of four. We're just going to, I'm not going to treat all my hives because I'm, I'm a, little, a little scared because I hadn't done it before. So I'm only going to treat half my hives. I may be probably dooming to death half of them. Whether it's half that I treat or the half I don't treat. I don't know. We'll find out next spring. And then uh, whichever way does better is the way we'll go. That'll be it. We'll take it later.